Yeah, uh, I thought uh, very good response from our team uh, and some good growth. Um, first defensively uh, to be able to kind of put it together for both halves. Um, and then secondly, you know, that we talked about the physicality of New Hampshire and also, you know, being really dropped off the pick and roll, going under a lot. We worked on our screening angles a lot. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's better. For it Like, we, we took a step forward there, I think, uh, because we have not been particularly good against, like, people dropped. Uh, our screening angles haven't been great. We've been allowing people to go underneath a lot. And so uh, I thought we had a little bit of patience offensively that allowed us to kind of get the angle where we wanted it. And then, uh, again, I, but I really thought the challenge uh, to the team to defensively be locked in uh, from the start was 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 answered. So. Questions? I guess my main question, if it's if it's cool, um, my main question. I don't know. Uh, it depends like, on the question. We'll <laughs> see if it's cool. Uh, dealing with you were saying about adapting, with like uh, kind of improving your screening angles and that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Do you find this phenomenon? Do you think this phenomenon will be uh, continuing, like this improvement in screening angles? Do you think I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a little bit of my fault, but uh, I think, you know, again, I think just the, the the patience you have to have between, you know, we talk about being early on defense, right, having early help. You want to be late on offense a lot of times, right? You, you, you want to be uh, a little bit more like, hey, wait a second, set it up, and, and, then, and then you'll get better uh, triggers, better uh, chance to play off an advantage. Uh, I think sometimes for B.A., he's such an eager guy, like to do everything you want him to do. Sometimes he's too eager, like in the pick and roll. Like he wants to come off that thing right away. So, um, you know, we, we worked a little bit on that offensively this week, and I thought, you know, again, I thought that was a good step for us. Hopefully we can, you know, everybody's different. The, the, the pressure on the ball might be greater. You know, the activity and the size and the versatility of the guy defending the screen may be better in that creates uh, more problems but I think that the other thing is we got to second and third actions against it and then we got a lot of stuff at the rim this is a team that's dropped not allowing a lot of driving kick from at least tonight they weren't and I thought we had to punish them at the rim some uh, which we did yeah Yeah, I think every every game, as you know, Jim is is uh, its own entity. Uh, I've been around enough of like the ones where you shouldn't win and you win, and then I've been around certainly plenty of ones where you're like, oh my god, how do, you know? W w but you know, I think give San Diego credit as well. I thought when I watched the tape, you know, I was like everybody, you get upset. Then when you watch it, I thought in the second half we really brought enough to win the game. Uh, but Brett Pope was, I mean, he was incredible. He hit a ton of, like, long twos off the dribble with, you know, hands. And so some of it is when you don't start the game the way we, you know, did tonight, uh, now you give a guy who's a good player uh, some confidence and he feels like he's in flow. You know, uh, and so, yeah, no, I, I thought the group was good. And we, we have great guys, so it's it's no surprise that they were able to move on a little bit and take the uh, uh, coaching. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not demeaning, but we are demanding about what we expected today. And, uh, you know, we got it, which was good. Uh, any thoughts on Bishop hitting 1,000 points? Hey, getting 1,000 points is hard at this level. Uh, it's hard at any level. Uh, I don't know how many of those were at LSU, but my guess is not many, right? No, it just wasn't. I mean, I, we, know, we know he didn't get me. So really, it's been, what, three years here now? To get to 1,000, I mean, it's incredible, right? Guys who are, you know, uh, getting 1,000 in the, whatever, fifth game of their third year, you know, they're guys who are probably looking at getting close to 2,000 points, you know? Um, the, what I would like going forward is him to continue to do that and be efficient while doing it, right? I had Sheldon McClellan pay for, play for us. He played for the Wizards, too. He, he, he was at Texas and Miami, so the Big 12 and the ACC, he got like 1,800 points on nine shots a game. 
right? That that's what I you know that that's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, but James has been he's been great. He loves the game. Uh, he he dealt with this hip issue that I think showed up a little bit uh, on Tuesday. I could see it. His his mobility off the ball just was not not there. And uh, tonight I thought one he was healthy, and then two I thought he was really good defensively. Yeah. He didn't force anything to me. Like he got us thousand was happy to go to the corner let Adam Savage and Hunter happen. I don't think it's like I talked to him a little bit about last night, yeah. I'm not gonna try to do too much. Because that even I know this, Chris, that forty four can be an interesting thing, right? Because the other team is gonna highlight it. Yeah, and I I I talked to him about it a little bit last night. I called him and said, Hey, like I'm just looking at some numbers like um zero pass, one pass, point nine six. Good. Not good enough, but not terrible, not disgusting. <laughs> Multiple passes for him, like 1.26, win every game. So I just reminded him, when we get into a little bit of a lull, right, which we're going to, right, uh, that don't, don't, don't just try to go get it yourself, right? The numbers bear out that it'll find you again, and then we go from 0.96 to 1.27. Last question. Uh, yeah, last question for me. But I have a quick question dealing with we were talking injuries before and, you know, Bishop's uh, hip yeah. and mobility. Uh, in San Diego, uh, I was working with tech on that. And we had, I had heard that uh, Ricky Lindo had taken a pretty bad fall and there was something wrong yeah. with his wrist. Um, it seemed like he was kind of up and running today yeah. at the best of his ability, if I can say so myself. Uh, do you believe that, uh, you know, he pulled from some inner strength? Do you think that he was really kind of on his game? He story? was intent on playing, and then, you know, it's like, yeah, that's great, but you got to go, we got to go figure this out and see what, and, and you know, luckily, uh, there's, you know, no no damage to this from what, from what I can, from what I know and what they told us. So it really was uh, on him then to say, hey, how, how do you feel? And you know, he was intent, he practiced yesterday, not full contact, but wanted to just watch him catch the ball. Like if, if it looked like he had any problem catching the ball, then that was going to be a problem for today. But in yesterday and then today, this morning, I walked in the gym early and he was out there shooting. And you know, I asked Dwayne, "Hey, how was he? How did he do catching?" And he said he was fine. So all right, let's go. So yeah, I think we, we caught a break there. I I told him uh, the night of the game, um, you know, when you when you're falling down, let your rear end do the catching. Not, not your hands, right? You just put your hands straight up in the air and let your butt hit the floor. <laughs> that's how these guys, you know, that's how you get hurt, right? You put your hand to, to brace yourself, and then you do something to your wrist. Or, so we want, we want the, uh, the rear to do it, not the hand. Well, on that note, thanks, guys. <laughs>